Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be sharing some footage from an old video uh, that I had done like a while back. I'm just gonna go through what it is I'm doing, share some like casual conversation, and yeah, share the process. So let's jump in and get started. So this illustration was done for a class that I was taking for OC Art Studios. It was a really great class. I learned a lot. And one of the main assignments for that uh, painting, color, and light class was to create a uh, scene that I would later color and light up. So here on the top left, you see that I have like a reference photo for the light and the value and just how I'm going to be shaping the scene because I had to rework it quite a few times. As you can see, um, the scene looks way different than the initial concept. I used a lot of photo references because I really wanted it to be a scene that was like reminiscent of Indian and African gardens. So I, I achieved that with a lot of different references. I think in the end it turned out better than I thought it was going to be. So I was really happy with the end results as I like kept playing around with it and got feedback and just overall made it something different than the initial sketch. So here you can see I am working with the values, trying to figure out where I want the white to go, the, the highlights, the values that are darker, I want more in the back, but the lighter values I want in the front to really express the vibrant colors that I'm going to use later. I think I mentioned that this whole concept comes from my interest in like Indian and African style gardens. I really enjoyed researching that in particular for another project that I have worked on, which I hope to share with you guys eventually uh, as I get more into developing the story and the uh, premise. But I guess I'll share, like, it's an uh, illustrated novel that I've been working on for a bit. So as I release more stuff, like on my Instagram and everything, I'll share with you guys. But let's go back to this painting. So as you can see, I started to freehand a lot of these details, like the windows and the plants in the front and the bird cage. I didn't really know what I was looking for. I just knew I wanted it to have that really big open garden feel. And I wanted to I was really interested in adding in that mosaic pattern tile, which later on it doesn't it doesn't stay. It goes away. But I was really interested in just hammering in little intricate details to make the scene come alive. And I really wanted to put a texture in this one to give it a sort of gouache kind of feel. So at this point, I really just went in to add value studies, uh, flush out the scene from the first concept, and get it to something that I kind of liked. I should mention that the lady and the dove have no real like story it's just i wanted to make a, a character that had some qualities from some of the things i was researching like astronomers and, and uh, just like grandma types so that's where she comes at So here, reworking this entire concept, I got feedback from my uh, instructor on how to make it better. So I went right in for details. I started adding like a shawl on the lady that had like a butterfly motif. I started uh, giving her like a shalwar style outfit. I made the dove uh, have more influence from Persian art and some 
more influences that I just kind of like was thinking about actively and referenced um, how I wanted everything to look. Once I got rid of the background and added that tree, the whole painting just like came together. Um, in feedback, I I wanted everything to kind of like flow into each other and really uh, playing up the curves and playing up the lines that were more soft and, and not so much straight lines that like you can tell uh, once I get rid of that uh, pattern in the front of the tile everything is a lot more like iconic and shapely and curved so here I'm still doing everything in black and white um, I'm not really looking to add lines yet I'm just looking for values studying the values, understanding what it is I'm looking for. When it came to this assignment, I was really looking for um, value. I wasn't trying to do lines yet. Uh, this was like the second to third week of class when we were just learning to use value. And I was like, okay. So I didn't really have an idea of like the style I wanted or anything. I just knew I wanted to have something that was reminiscent of the Indian and African and Persian art styles that I was looking at this whole time. Uh, my favorite part as I'm working on this fountain has to be the fountain itself and uh, the little pattern that comes around. It's just so interesting to see how it all comes together in the front. It's like my favorite part of this whole painting. And the left side, I made like a little dome shaped building and uh, I just wanted it to be a, like an observatory where the lady can like look out and see the stars because she's into astronomy as well. So she's like a mystic and an astronomer and like a medicine lady all in one. Uh, I had fun with this, really coming in and just trying to see. I think looking back, I would probably change my approach overall with adding so many finer details without fully understanding like how they all work. I know I really pushed texture in this one, but I think if I, knowing now what I know, I would definitely make sure I understand the overall shape of this painting and make sure that it all works like together because I found that um, like that bush in the front, for instance, I completely get rid of that. The birdcage in the front, I completely get rid of that too. Um, because it just doesn't work like in the shape or the flow of the painting. It just looks weird. So I had to get rid of it at some point. But here now, I'm just playing with light. I'm trying to understand like how far that tree is from everything else. Um, how, whether it's day or night, because I... I think I made this like a midday reference, and I wasn't really sure um, what I was going to go for until I uh, went back in and changed some stuff up. I think around this time, I was doing some like color thumbnails, and I playing around like night colors, and midday colors, and morning colors, but nothing ever really like stuck for me. I think because the painting didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to, so I was just really thinking. Uh, here you can see that I'm adding uh, more details. I'm really deciding now what it is that I want to happen. I added details on her shalwar. I started filling out the background there with like, you know, ideas of what kind of foliage and plants that I wanted to add in. Um, kind of kept the cypress trees, though you don't really see them as much. And yeah, I'm still looking for a way to incorporate the birdcage. Uh, at the end, the final result I think looks so much nicer. This right here is where it's starting to come together a lot more. You can see like I got rid of some of that uh, tile so it looks more open and wide and it's from here that I kind of keep 
the lady the same. I explore more of how I can keep the floor open. Yeah, you can see I got rid of that. Uh, this design doesn't stick either. Um, I make it just a really blank, simple color um, and make it like one, one tone instead of like adding tiles and stuff. It just started to look too busy. I think at, at this stage of the process, I didn't have the capabilities to create the kind of tile that I wanted. So I had to like settle for something that I could accomplish and that I could achieve that still told a good story. And that's what this whole first painting was about. It's like telling a story, telling a story about values, telling a story with the environment, the landscape, like like all the little things in the picture were about telling a story. And I didn't want to make it complicated. I just I wanted had an idea, I had a vision, but as I kept going into it, I had to pull back and and really consider some things that were and uh, were not working. So here I'm like adding god ray lighting just to make it like an ambient sort of thing and try to make it look really fun and just really like mystical and, and wonderful and um, really make it something where it's interesting to look at. So. I'm using Procreate, by the way, so that's why you're seeing all these transitional images. Here is my favorite part. I add color. Um, I can't remember exactly how I did this. I think I had the color layer set to multiply or color. And I think I had the top layer set to, no, I had the, the lines, like the black and white, set to multiply and the color layer was just a normal color layer. And so I just went over it, kind of thinking of it as like inking, or like filling in the blanks, um, using the ink lines to create like a new layer with color. And so I really went into her sh her shawl, her like shawlar, and her, and her slippers to really like add those little details in. You can't really see it here, unfortunately, but uh, in the final painting, I add a lot of details there. Um, I really ended up changing how her her hair, or her, excuse me, her turban looked because it didn't look right with the rest of the colors. I found it interesting once I started to color things in, certain shapes weren't working, and I was like, oh, okay, let's like change this. And I felt weird about doing that because in my mind, it looked the black and white one looked great. But then as I started adding color, I started playing around with like the tones that I wanted and I just I just had to like be okay with making little adjustments. Of course, once I made one adjustment somewhere, I ended up making adjustments everywhere else. The final painting is very different, but I really enjoy how it turned out. I think it works really well. It was something that had gone through a lot of iterations and so I think by the end I was just glad to have something I could submit but not only submit but like feel like I actually made progress on because this took me like six weeks to do like of learning new techniques and learning uh, depth and, and lines and values so at the end I had something that I would actually learn a lot Oh, okay. This is the part where I started like playing like the tile thing again. And here you can see I just started adding that pink color and that little orangey salmon -y color. Um, I started filling in the shapes, like the, the, the seating area, the tea set, the flower pots, the cushions. I was, they think I was using reference around this point too, just to really like get those shapes right. Um, and I, I was really happy with that. I'm really happy. Still, still, I'm happy with how that looks and how it turned out. Just the whole seating area looks very, like, authentic. And, yeah, you know, this is supposed to be, like, a greenhouse observatory kind of thing. So I really want it to feel big and spacious and really hone in on the colors. But 
yeah, this was like a six week project. Like every week we, I learned something new that I could put into this project. And I think it shows at the end, like I made better decisions. I was really aware of how things were working together. Um, the colors started to look better too. His, uh, when I did some test uh, colors, it just looked like it didn't feel inviting. Like the colors I have here now, like they look a lot nicer. They look brighter. Um, it just I wanted it to be fun. I wanted it to be something where you can look at it and be like, yeah. Oh, and uh, there on screen you can see like one of the test the test uh, colors that I tried. Uh, the fountain. The fountain was a challenge at times. I had to do reflections and the light bouncing off and the light bouncing off of the fountain and the little water droplets. Uh, I still like how it turned out though. It was never meant to be very realistic. It was this whole painting was supposed to be very abstract and uh, it was supposed to be something where it felt authentic. But it also looked kind of like artistic and cartoony, and um, so I, I think I achieved that. At some point here, I get rid of that bush because it's such an eyesore. I, I held up to that bush for like quite a bit of time. Um, just I was really searching for how to make the pattern in the front work, and that tile thing again. I tried to fix the tiles, but in the end, I ended up doing. The little designs um, that I think worked really well in the end. It just looks really playful. It looks really fun, really festive. Um, so now I'm just working on like the color. You know, I used Procreate, and it's so bad. The colors just and now that I have like Photoshop again, and I'm going to be using Clip Studio Paint. I don't know if it was just me, but I kept dealing with a lot of problems with my colors saving really muddy and it exporting weird. It didn't look good and I had to do a lot of tweaking. This is before I had Photoshop. So I wasn't happy with how these colors turned out um, until I had like Photoshop and I was able to fix it. Oh, okay. This is my favorite part. So this is like the Rangoli. Rangoli is. Um, I'll probably either I'll put a link in the description or I'll come back in and change it here. But it's like little patterns, like little designs made out of like colored sand or or other maybe sometimes natural ingredients uh, used for like festivals, like holy or Diwali or Eid or Ramadan. Like everyone uses it in India and just Pakistan, pretty much everywhere. It's just like a way to decorate and make everything look really pretty and cool. So remember that bird cage I mentioned? It'll pop up here somewhere as one of these designs and. I think it looked cute. I think it really worked. I added like uh, the, um, yeah. See, I, I tried to. I really did try to add a full-on bird cage again. Then I was like, you know what? Let's just add it as a little design. Here, I started adding plants. Um, this is my favorite part. I realized like plants are really fun to draw for me. You can make a really abstract design look really cool. And really fun and it like works I was really surprised like how much I really enjoyed these plants and how like they can look like a really realistic plant at times um, here I'm just trying to like make it moodier lighting like maybe it's there's some kind of like that tree is obscuring the light so Maybe it's like filtering through and adding some kind of like effect. I get rid of it at the end because it just didn't look right. But the shapes I have here for the Rangoli, I have the dove, like a flower, a lotus, and then I have the bird cage. And I think there's another one here. Yeah, it's like a like a four-sided like jewel flower sort of thing. Um, I just used um, shapes that I knew would work and looked up some references uh, for the Rangoli colors and the type of 
shapes that are like normally used which are usually like curvy shapes and rectangles and um, diamonds uh, for the shapes I uh, as you can see for the flower pots and the trees I really struggled with that I, I liked the shapes of the flowers but it didn't work until the very end okay well that's the finished illustration it took me about 20 hours to do from start to finish over six weeks but yeah uh it was so much fun and i really really like how it turned out um i think i i really learned a lot from this one and it's really uh everything i've learned from this painting has informed a lot of my other like artistic decisions and uh the sort of things I want to do later on so thank you guys so much for watching um I'll catch you in the next video and until next time peace